Hi everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV located in Frederick, Colorado. Wow, wasn't that a nice trailer that Callie just showed you? There's one, several of them just like that on the lot, so feel free to give her a call. As we get started today, I would like to give out a couple of thank yous. First, to Nathan and Heather Galvin, who brought me a very nice trade in yesterday and purchased a Freightliner. They came in all the way from the state of Washington. Today, Mr. Jeff Arnold, he's actually in the air right now, is flying in from Michigan to purchase a Freightliner from us today. So we feel very blessed that we're as busy as we are. Uh, we have trailers or trucks going just about every day uh, currently. So with that being said, I'd like to introduce you to another one. This is a brand new Freightliner we have on the lot. This is a 2020 Freightliner M2106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. The empty weight is 13,480 pounds. The GVWR is 19,500. So let's start at the rear of the truck and see how the trailer is hooked up. When you purchase this truck from us, it'll come with a gooseneck ball already. Very simple, it has the backup cameras that I used this morning just to back right up there and, and hook the trailer up. The safety chains, the lights are hooked up right here. So it's very easy to do this morning. While we're back here, this bed is made out of aluminum. As compared to the competition that makes theirs out of steel, aluminum, aluminum will last longer from the standpoint that it's not gonna rust. So 10 years from now, this bed is gonna look very similar to what it does today. This here is if we wanna hook additional cameras up. You can actually hook up three more cameras to this truck that uses the Voyager system. As we come back, <coughs> underneath here is the hitch for a bumper pull trailer. One thing that Summit Hauler does is put an extra 800 pounds on top of the rear axle. Cherish is gonna to try to zoom in on that and that is a safety precaution. Not only is it better traction if you're in mud, but if you're not towing and you're going down the road and you get into rain, that will prevent you from fishtailing. As we start to walk around the truck, if we could zoom in on the tire, those are Michelin 255 80R 22.5. One thing I wanted to mention this morning <coughs> excuse me, is that guys be careful not to over inflate the tires. I've seen several trade-ins come in where they have them over inflated, where they're a larger tire like that. I think we're just assuming 100, 125 pounds of air needs to go in them. But 75 on the front and 85 on the rear is about all you need. Now, Michelin, Goodyear, Cooper, all those have charts so if you go to their website you can find a chart that will show you how much air should be in those tires and I really encourage that because over inflating them is going to be worse on them than under inflating them when you look at not only smoothness of ride but tire wear as well so as we continue to walk forward if we take a look in the front storage component we will see a hookup where you can hook up an air hose to it. As we walk forward, underneath here are the batteries. I'll show you when we look under the hood if something happens and we need to jump start the truck where we can do it under the hood as opposed to getting to the batteries. As we take a look at the rear, You'll see the bed, the seat is made down into a bed, and you can put that up very easily by just the flip of a switch. So when that bed is down, that actually meets all DOT regulations for being a bed. So if this truck was to be used commercially, that qualifies as a bed. This is a plug-in for a trickle charger. So for just an example of when you would use this, if you 
at night and if you're on the road and you pull in beside a place that has an outlet you can plug that in that will allow you to run the lights dvd all that without draining the battery that assists the battery as we continue to come up here's the def tank that actually holds six gallons research has shown that they're getting about 400 miles per one gallon of def it comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks one on each side now as a truck sitting they'll level themselves out in terms of fuel so they're connected that way however when you go to fuel the truck up you need to do those independently as we take a look here it's a very soft black leather seat that's the most comfortable seat on the market this is where we would adjust the air hot or cold and this is for the lumbar system now all the trucks are made to start right here so you can do it from the ground so when you go to start the truck turn it halfway and let those gauges go all the way over and completely reset and then start the truck if we get impatient and start it quicker there is a chance it could set a code that simply doesn't exist this little pedal right here for when you're sitting in the driver's seat you press that and that adjusts our steering wheel. As we continue to walk around, the Summit Hauler conversion comes with tire balancers. Now there's BBs in a little drum with some oil, and as you pick up speed and gain momentum, that balances the entire rotating mass. mass from the wheel to the tire to the hub, all of that gets balanced. So that'll do a couple of things. That'll give us a smoother ride as we're going down the road, and that'll actually prolong tire life up to 45%. Now when we, when we look under the hood, we see the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. Now Cummins has been around since 1919, started in Indiana. Allison, since 1915, also started in Indiana. So there are, those are two companies that have been around a very long time. So you can feel confident when you purchase this truck that you're getting uh, very high quality from some people that's been around a very long time. Now I mentioned that we're gonna jump the batteries from here, right here are those terminals so it's very easy access to get to a couple other things you can do while under the hood here's where we would check the oil and straight across is where we would add antifreeze if we need to now let's say we're underneath there either jump starting or checking everything out and a gust of wind comes up that hood's gonna stop it's not gonna squish us the only way to get that hood down is to manually force it down. As we walk around the front of the truck, you'll notice an extremely nice grill. It's very unique to the Summit Hauler. In addition, the bumper is broken into three pieces. So from a logic standpoint, say we hit somebody head on and we damage this piece. Well, we can simply replace that piece as compared to doing the entire bumper. As we start to look on this side, we'll take a look at the passenger seat. Notice how much room is in there. That coupled with the air ride, I mean, you guys will be able to travel 12, 13 hours, jump out, I'd be so comfortable, it'll feel like you just ran up the road. This is the other fuel tank. As we take a look here, we can see that the DVD camera, the DVD system from here. These are also heated seats in the rear. Safety was the number one priority when Summit Hauler started doing conversions back in 08. 
and a couple of advantages this truck has over a pickup. First of all, just the general size. I mean, we're a lot higher in this truck than we are a pickup. And how is that safer? Well, when you're going down, you'll be able to see things coming at you and from each side, as opposed to a pickup where you're down right amongst traffic. The second um, reason these are safer than a pickup truck is because of the air brakes. So say we're going down the road and we get a, a leak in one of the brake lines. Well, with air, we simply replenish it because there's an unlimited supply compared to a hydraulic line where that fluid is leaking out. So it, for example, in a pickup, if we get a leak and we go to hit the brake, there will be less stopping power there. Eventually there will be none at all. So if you have a Cimarron trailer pushing you and you go to hit the brakes and there's nothing there, we got a problem where we can be much more confident in an air brake system such as this. The storage capacity on this side is just like the other. If you notice, these are not connected. So you can put anything you want there and there are also, you can lock them in. So a very nice truck we have on the market today. The warranty on this truck is two years, 250,000 miles. So it obviously being brand new, it's under warranty as well. So if you have any other questions about this truck or any of the other vehicles on the lot, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number is 970-370-4067. My work extension is 303-684-3404. Or feel free to email me at larryvickers, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.